Hello everyone, myself Dr. Svetlana Sanjay Ninje, third year junior resident of Department of Radio Diagnosis, VDGMC Latur. Uh, I'm presenting a paper on sonological evaluation in first trimester PV bleeding with co-author Dr. Balaji Kumre and Dr. Atish Kumar sir. My aims and objectives are sonological evaluation of clinically suspected first trimester PV bleeding to prognosticate and predict the status of abnormal pregnancy to evaluate the uterine structural defects, which leads to repeated abortions. Introduction, vaginal PV bleeding in the first trimester of pregnancy is the common obstetric problem and cause of anxiety and worry to, both to the patient and obstetrician. The common causes of ble bleeding during first trimester include various types of abortions, ectopic pregnancy and molar pregnancy. Ultrasound, ultrasound both trans, uh, transvaginal and transabdominal, plays an important role in the evolution of the causes of first trimester bleeding prognosticate and predict the status of abnormal pregnancy. Normal first trimester sonography shows uh, GSAC, which is, which is visible by transvaginal ultrasound by four and a half weeks. It, it is determined by calculating mean sac diameter and by showing uh, peritropoplastic flow. Uh, it shows characteristic double decidual sign, which is um, formed by decidual capsularis and decidual parat paratilis. Yolk sac, it is visible by five and a half weeks by uh, TVS and TAS shows it uh, by seven weeks. It is spherical in shape and uh, with a well-defined ecogenic periphery and sonolucent center. Uh, it confirms early uterine pregnancy. Embryo and cardiac activity. Uh, TVS, are, uh, TVS is able to detect embryo, which is thinning of yolk sac margin when the CRL is two to three mm. At six weeks, when the CRL is five mm, it should be seen by TBS as a separate structure from the yolk sac and cardiac pulsations should be visible. Mean sac diameter, uh, the G sac is seen at five weeks by transabdominal, while uh, it is seen as early as four weeks by TBS. Uh, three measurements should be taken, length, depth, and weight, and it should be divided by three. CRL, that is crown, lump, uh, crown rump length, it is the greatest fetal dimension obtained by scanning till maximum uh, length of fetal node is seen. Limbs are excluded. BPD, by parameter diameter, is the parameter used to determine gestational age. It becomes more accurate than CR. This shows uh, this image shows normal first trimester ultrasonography, uh, sonography, umbilical cord, um, uh, amnion, embryo, yolk sac, vitelline duct, and placenta. Causes of first trimester bleeding. Abortions like threatened, missed, complete, incomplete, inevitable, blighted ovum, ectopic pregnancy, vesicular mole, and uh, others include submucosal fiber abortions. It is expulsion of products before 28 weeks of gestation. It can be threatened, which shows uh, empty uterus or intrauterine G-sac with or without embryo. Complete abortion shows empty uterus. Incomplete abortion shows blood clots or uh, residual trophoblastic tissue in the endometrial cavity. Missed abortion shows an intrauterine embryo without cardiac activity. Uh, the embryo can be small for gestation age and are disproportionate. Recurrent abortion. Uh, the sonographic findings depend on the stage of this gestation and type of abortion. Septic abortion, uh, sonographic findings are thick and irregular endometrial lining with fluid in the endometrial cavity. Inevitable abortion, it shows uh, an echoic area which is seen uh, surrounding uh, around the gestational sac uh, where the sac has dissected away from the uterine wall. The sac is seen lying low in the uterus and the cervical canal is dilated. In this sonographic image shows uh, ecogenic contents in the endometrial cavity, suggestive of incomplete abortion or retained products of conception. <clears throat> this image shows ecogenic contents in the endometrial cavity with no cardiac activity, uh, suggestive of uh, missed abortion or retained products of con conception. Uh, Subchorionic hemorrhage, it is partial detachment of trophoblast from the uterine wall or abruption of the placental margin, and on ultrasound disappears as the placental margin, which is displaced by Anechoic or uh, heterogeneous hypoetic material, small ecogenic structures can be found due to clots and hematoma may be visualized. Mm, it usually gets resolved. Subchorionic hemorrhage, this you can see here. Mm, molar pregnancy, it is it can be complete or incomplete, uh, that is partial. The classic sonographic features of complete molar pregnancy include an enlarged uterus with central heterogeneous ecogenic mass that expands the endometrial cavity which contains multiple cystic spaces of varying size from few milliliters to two to three centimeters, representing hydropic villi. It, in complete mole, a fetus is absent. Partial molar pregnancy shows uh, 
uh, overlap with other conditions such as uh, an embryonic pregnancy or an incomplete abortion. In partial molar pregnancy, the placenta is exclusively in size and contains numerous cystic spaces distributed in uh, non-uniform manner. This transvaginal sonography reveals uh, this transabdominal sonography reveals complex ecogenic mass containing small irregular cells which are surrounded by fluid collection in the endometrial cavity suggestive of complete molar pregnancy. Ectopic pregnancy, it should be suspected in patients who, who present with positive pregnancy test with an absence of endometrial uh, intrauterine pregnancy on ultrasound. The most common location is fallopian tubes. Others are ovary, abdomen, cervix and uterine scar. Fluid can be seen in the endometrial cavity termed as pseudocyte. An embryonic pregnancy that is blighted ovum, it refers to gestational sac in which embryo either failed to develop or died at the early stage of pregnancy to visualize. Sonographically, it is characterized by large empty uh, sac measuring 12 to 18 hours. This is transabdominal uh, uh, sonogram showing tritetensal mass uh, with, in patient with presenting with PV bleeding, showing color, with color Doppler showing cystic thick wall mass with ring of fire sign that is ectopic pregnancy. So uh, this image shows empty gestational sac, which is at 10 weeks with absent yolk sac and fetal node, suggestive of an embryonic gestation. Mm -hmm. This image shows submucosal fibroid lying in the uh, endometrial cavity. Uh, materials and methods. Data for the study was collected from pregnant women, referred to VDGMC Latour, Radio Diagnosis Department. Uh, study design was a uh, prospective cross-sectional study uh, done on uh, GE Logic Q, P9 ultrasound system. Uh, in VD uh, Jamsil 50 patients were screened and a simple random sampling procedure was done. Uh, results, a study group age ranged from 18 to 35 years. There is significant disparity between the clinical diagnosis and fibrinal diagnosis, whereas ultrasound diagnosis has brought greater reliability. There is 100% sensitivity of ultrasound diagnosis in all cases except for gest ectopic gestation, which is 80%. We have divided our group study. Uh, into three main categories for the purpose of statistical correlation. The three groups are viable intrauterine pregnancy, non-viable intrauterine pregnancy, and ectopic pregnancy. It was formed on the basis of subsequent time of management in particular cases. All cases of viable intrauterine pregnancy were followed up, followed to be up without intervention, while other cases were managed as appropriate based on ultrasound finding. In this comparison of clinical ultrasound and final uh, diagnosis in tabulated form. Uh, Follow-up of sonologically diagnosed cases out of 18 cases of threatened abortion, 12 cases continued to normal term gestation while 6 presented miscarriage. On repeat ultrasound, out of these 6 cases, 2 were missed abortion, 2 incomplete abortion and 2 cases with complete spontaneous abortion. All 4 cases of ectopic gestation were correctly diagnosed on ultrasound. Of the 6 cases, sonologically diagnosed complete abortion, only 5 were correctly diagnosed whereas 1 ectopic gestation was best diagnosed as complete abortion. 10 cases of incomplete abortion, 4 cases of inevitable abortion, and 4 cases of missed abortion, 2 cases of hydratiform mold, and 2 cases of uh, an embryonic gestation was all uh, correctly diagnosed on ultrasound. Uh, this was follow up to certain cases diagnosed on ultrasound, which shows uh, uh, in tabulated discussion, a normal pregnancy with excellent changes for a viable birth. birth could be differentiated using ultrasound from a pathological pregnancy which warrants an immediate termination. The sonographic landmarks for the first trimester of pregnancy include identification of G-sac, fetal pulse, fetal cardiac activity, movements, yolk sac, and amnion. Ultrasound, both TVS and TAS, plays an important role in the evaluation of uh, causes of first trimester PV bleeding, prognosticate, and predict the status of abnormal pregnancy. Real-time sonography is a non-invasive modality that is extremely useful to arrive at accurate diagnosis. In our study, we, com we compared our study with uh, Jaldi Mal Malhotra study and uh, Reddy Rani study, uh, which is as uh, described in this tabulated form. It was also compared uh, with Rama Sokat and Neelam study. Um, I, uh, I express my sincere gratitude to all faculty members, including Dr. K K Balaji Kumbhreso and Dr. Atish Kumbhreso for their assistance. Uh, these were the books and publications from where the data was collected. Mm. With this, I conclude my topic. Thank you.